Hey. Hey, this is the InDesign Helper, and today we are going to talk about the Gap Tool. So the Gap Tool is an interesting, very simple little tool. I use it here and there, but it's very confusing to see how it works. So that's why I wanted to make a video about it. Basically what you see is you go here, it's usually on a default, the fourth one. So you click on that or you could click U on your keyboard. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this line here. I'm gonna zoom in and you, whenever you are in between something, whether it's the space between a shape and the edge of a page, as you can see from these two, or from or the space between a shape and a text a shape and a shape shape and a text text to the edge anything that has a gap between two elements then you will see this activate and based on this you could warp and change the space between it but as it's changing the space between it it also changes the size of the actual element. So if I were to click here, you will see that for us to keep the space the same, but to move every, but to move it, the text has to get smaller for the space to continue and the shapes, the rectangles have to get larger and longer. So this is really good when creating very responsive type design in terms of editorials, posters, text heavy elements where you have a brochure and you're trying to figure out how to place things together. You'll be able to use this and easily navigate figuring out what space you really want. And I find this to be a lot of fun because you can really create different designs from this outside of your natural purview. So that's all this tool does, but I do think that you could use it for anything editorial and you might get something out of it. So I recommend playing around with it the next time you're in InDesign. But check out this next video here. I'm actually going to talk about the next tool and we're going to talk about that one. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.